In the Gospel of Mark here, Jesus uses this image of a lamp that is to be put on a lampstand. For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing secret except to come to light. In the time of Christ, in the cottage of a Palestinian peasant, there were small dishes of oil with a wick. These small lamps didn't give a lot of light, but they were indispensable. For after dark, you couldn't really walk across your house shore footed, see the face of a person you love, or read a line from the Torah. The Gospel of Matthew expands on this image where Jesus says to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Now, salt, we take it for granted, but until I think the 19th century, it was uh, rather rare and expensive. Salt, it brings out the taste of fish and meat. Salt preserves. A pinch of salt changes and brings out the flavor, keeps it from spoiling. In temple worship in the Old Testament times, the priest was to season every sacrifice. This would be a sign of the permanence of the covenant. Like salt, we, disciples of Jesus, are to improve the quality of human living, change what we touch, bringing out its goodness, preserve our sin-scarred world from destruction. Jesus' message with these images, salt, light, not to keep the gifts to ourselves, our salt and our light are to attract all manner of people. Our faith give pause to the skeptic, our hope lend hope to the discouraged, and our love cool the anger of those who hate. And all this is not to attract people to ourselves or to get admiration, but it is that people may come to know God better and give thanks and praise to God in all things. In the Gospel of Matthew, the reference here to light, put it where people will see it. This is put into a section about seeds to sow. And as Jesus uh, teaches, the metaphor shifts. The parable, maybe at first, will invite you to consider what kind of ground am I? But it also then invites us to identify with the sower and even with the seed itself. And then it goes on to remind us that there is something of mystery and wonder and great possibility. The little parable of the mustard seed that grows to be a great shrub follows. What kind of seed? do we have to sow? Well, it's our experience of God, our words of faith and hope, our accounts of miracles, large and small, in our lives, our yearnings for God, prayers that have been answered. Every Catholic, whether you have just a basic knowledge of the faith, or great theological insights like Thomas Aquinas. Every Catholic has a story of faith to tell. And there will be someone who needs your particular witness. So as you live, give witness. 
And when asked, what is the reason for your hope? Always be ready to give the reason for your hope in Christ. More than you know, you have seeds of faith to nurture and seeds of faith to sow. So be the light of the world, the salt of the earth.